Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back, one and all, to part 30 of Chris Chan, a comprehensive documentary. Hopefully, like, uh, the roundups of some of, of the two previous videos that sort of, like, got cut off a little bit early will be a scene two. If this continues, then I'll just, uh, we'll make sure to change some things when, uh, this, uh, when part 30 is done. So... There wasn't really much to talk over yesterday, apart from Chris developed the ingenious scam to try and scam uh, the trolls, but basically resulting in Chris basically wearing a shirt over his face. So let's get started with part 30, and I didn't want to show you guys the thumbnail for this, because it will become very, very clear about uh, Chris being deceived, and uh, again, him learning absolutely nothing from his experiences. It's it's really something you're gonna have to see to believe, trust me. What made him this way? What is the attraction? What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Chris Chan. Captain's log, star date, August 27th, 2010. Christian made a video telling his audience about an unfortunate event concerning his PlayStation 3. You all, may, you all are aware of my recent dilemma with being able to download <coughs> videos and digital comics being disabled. Well, I just got through talking with uh, technical people at Sony and they encouraged me to uh, go through an option number three of, uh, of uh, searching for corrupted data and clearing that out. But there was a problem during that. And, it's, and the system suggested formatting my internal hard drive. And there was a misunderstanding between me and the uh, employee over at Sony Computer Entertainment America, and I said yes. Everything I have worked for since to, since March 2007, since I started, save data, videos, music, photographs, everything I saved on my hard drive. There's nothing to destroy. You want to destroy my PlayStation 3? Well, in a misguided error, I just did it myself. So there's nothing for you trolls to be jealous about. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Feels like a whole weight has been lifted on my shoulders. In a way, you win. You win there. That's it. Leave y'all with that piece of knowledge. Let y'all contemplate. Have a, especially to Clyde Cash. Let him contemplate the agony in the past few years. Everything. That's kind of like, uh, you know what's very, very interesting about all of this is that he's saying he uh, lifted... The, you would think that Chris would be a lot more upset about something like this, considering how emotionally attached he is to a PlayStation 3, but you know what? He just seems to acknowledge that uh, he did this himself, and there's nothing really can be done about it, and he's not, you know, tr pretending to cry or pretending to be, you know, angry. He just said this was a mistake, and you know what? That part of me is behind me. So you would think this is the point where Chris just decided, you know what? It's not that big a deal anymore. 
Well, you would think that, but, uh, not quite. After this incident, Chris informed Jackie via email that he felt like deleting all the data off his PS3 was akin to deleting his past lonely self. And with this fresh start, he began seeing playing video games as a hobby and not an obsession, and believed that this allowed him and Jackie to establish a sturdy foundation for their relationship. Jackie then shared a link with him to a page on the Trolling Train forum for a list of challenges for trolls to accomplish, with high monetary rewards accompanying each one. Oh, for example, boy. Clyde Cash would pay $4,000 to the troll who would film themselves having gay sex with Christian. The trolls encouraged Jenkins Jinkies, Chris's troll alias, to carry out the task, since he already had a gay encounter in his youth, according to his falsified backstory. Jackie highlighted that Clyde would pay $9,001 to the person who destroyed Chris's PS3 with a brick and offered proof. Upon reviewing the page, Christian decided that he would outsmart the trolls by filming himself destroying his own PS3 and get the cash reward in return. He found that he had backed up a lot of his data on flash drives, so he comfortably felt that he could use the $9,001 to buy a newer PS3 and pay back his debts to his father. He said that he would try to get a friend of his to film the destruction, and Chris would tell the trolls that it was Jenkins Jinkies who recorded it, though soon he decided that he wanted to have all the credit, and ended up filming the ordeal by himself. I make this video as a tribute to what- you, you, I can think of literally one way in which- in, in how this was that simple. Just get somebody else to film the destruction, Chris could film the stuff, and then Chris could give the person uh, a cut of the profit. Let's say maybe three thousand, or maybe even just half the money, because a, a new a, a PlayStation Three does not cost anywhere close to uh, four and a half thousand dollars. Uh, that's just that's my, that's my uh, gambit, because as far as like the trolls are concerned, all they've just watched is Chris destroy his own PlayStation Three in the belief that they're just gonna hand him the money. What I have lost, but also from which I have lost. I have lost something that was of important value, but I am able to let go. <sighs> it is the spirit of myself, of which was very lonely. But now I move on to a much brighter future. And now for the feature presentation on this video. What you are about to see is uncensored and unedited. My PlayStation 3 here in the backyard. The hard drive still in there, formatted as it was. And for a memento, I'm keeping the cover. Again, uh -huh. it's very, it is, this is very graphic, so if you are weak in the stomach, especially as a gamer, look away. And I mean no disrespect to Sony Computer Entertainment America, Baker of the fine product. You know, if you've already formatted the data, my next question is, why would you even need to destroy a P your PS3 anyway? Because it's kind of just like an empty device at this point. So, what's the point of this again? Oh yeah, that's right. To uh, con people out of like nearly ten thousand dollars. That's right. I I almost forgot. So, of my loneliness within the past three years and anguish. I bid you a fond fair day. Adieu. A fond farewell. I'll just get on with it, Chris. Oh, there it is. Christian smashes at his PlayStation 3 with a brick for 40 seconds. Did he even make a dent in it? Crushed. Unplayable. The deed is done. After sharing the video with Jackie, she wasn't satisfied with the console's level of destruction, and doubted that the trolls would be convinced either. Taking Jackie's suggestion, Chris once more took his camera and his PS3 outside so that he could drive over it with his car.
Well, you get the idea anyway. It's useless. Broken. He then brings it back to his room. Well, right over a car and smash it with a brick. Ugh. They thought I hit on the metal parts and the heavy plastic. But still, when I hook it, still when I plugged it in, it did not turn on. Actually, it went into standby mode, but that's all as far as it went. That's all as it went. So right now I'm gonna finish the job. Finish the job. Chris then stabs at the console's innards with a pair of scissors. I'm just going to take this moment to pause for the fact that I'm absolutely amazed he had the sense to put on gloves to uh, smash the thing with a brick. Look at that fan. Broke a whole bunch of stuff on it. But you tell me, it's still good. It ain't now. After this latest pair of videos, he sent them to Jackie, along with a drawing of Chris and Jackie having sex against a tree as a group of Native American men and women masturbate to them. As opposed to the all-male circle jerking at the swimming pool, Christian changed the environment around her fantasy to reduce the number of men, and also made all the masturbators Native American, since he claimed that he was 1 16th Cherokee himself. Not long after, he sent the brick destruction video along with three post-destruction photos to Clyde Cash, asking for the $9,001 reward. Let's talk business. As you are aware, oh, I, myself, am aware of the trolling train, and recently, I have mistakenly formatted my PS3 hard drive. I do have a girlfriend now, I will not disclose her name, and she is aware of these factors as well. She has encouraged me to work for your reward offer. So, with the full intention of moving forward in life, I have destroyed my PS3 personally and video recorded it. I am not going to put it onto YouTube, yet. I will be sending you the link to the video file I will be uploading to a mega upload site right after I finish typing this message. At the moment, even if you upload the video yourself, it can be considered your word alone, possible movie editing and actors, and not fact. However, what? I am most willing and able to upload the video onto my own YouTube account personally. All I ask for me to actually upload the video onto my YouTube is the full reward, as posted on Trolling Train, of $9,001 in cash. No check, no digital transfer. Send me all of the cash in a big, bubble-wrapped envelope via snail mail. You have my good word that I will upload the same video onto my own YouTube right after I get the cash. Also, should you upload the video before I get the money, I can and will create a retractionary statement to the video and blow things out of proportion. Considering the previous trusted conversation between me and Sarah was provided with your full authorization, I will thank you for that peace of mind event by trusting you in like. I would like to see the cash in my mailbox, followed by in my hands within this week, before September 4th, 2010. Attached are three photos of the same PS3, post damage for your preview. You, Sarah, and Penny all have a good and safe day. Here. Right, okay, so, uh, what on earth do you possibly suspect is going to happen next? Chris is just, they're, they're just gonna give Chris the money? Or no, not that. For to show the destruction by car video only after he received the reward money. Clyde Cash was dubious about Chris's reasoning and willingness to destroy his beloved gaming console. After failing to make Clyde believe that he truly smashed apart his own PS3, he finally gave in and sent Clyde links to the other two videos. After that, Clyde Cash redirected the conversation to Surfshack Tito, who allegedly handled all the money transactions. Tito informed Christian that he had apparently missed some prerequisites written on the original listing for the $9,001 reward, such as having to sign a contract for Clyde Cash paying tribute to Surfshack Tito for security protection and forfeiting the contestants' white women to the black man in the pickle suit. Most importantly, the challenge was meant to be completed by a troll of Chris Shan, meaning that Chris was ineligible from receiving the reward. Chris nevertheless relented and pointed out that Clyde had instructed Tito to pay out the reward. He also mentioned that he was in contact with Jinkies himself and that they had an understanding. After a number of reschedulings, they finally settled on the Chick-fil-A in Charlottesville's Fashion Square as the place where an agent of Tito's would hand over the $9,001 in cash to Chris. After waiting for 40 minutes, no one came to meet him, so Chris went back home. He suspected that they were running late that day, so he gave Tito one more chance to have one of his agents deliver the money to him at the Starbucks in Fashion Square the following day. 
Sir Shaktito told him that his agent would be a woman with a pickle tattoo on her breast. Meanwhile, Christian told Jackie via email that he felt emotionally tortured after destroying his PS3, and much to her disappointment, pledged to buy a replacement console as soon as possible. In addition, he complained that Tito told Chris that he had a conversation with Jenkins Jinkies, who said to Tito that he was not in alliance with Chris. Christian then devised a plan to make an audio recording of a supposed conversation between Jinkies and Chris to prove that Surfshack Tito was lying. Chris would end up not creating any falsified recordings and retire the Jenkins Jinkies character entirely out of fear of being mistaken for a true troll and getting arrested by police. Yeah. He then informed Jackie that he told his mother that his PS3 died and then he destroyed it, before trying to revive it through some surgery and a checkup at Best Buy. She was shocked by the news and wanted to contribute $50 for a new PlayStation 3. I crashed myself at about 7 last night and fell asleep. I woke 3 hours later, finding my mother sitting in my chair in my view. She was emotionally torn up over me destroying the console for the troll's entertainment. She and dad are under an impression that the trolls were controlling me. I understand and helped her through her emotions and tears. I drove her to Walmart and walked with her by her side to relieve her pain. I was doing what a good child would do for their parent. Chris then sent Jackie another drawing of the two of them having sex, this time in a hot tub, once again failing to fulfill her wish of depicting them in a pool surrounded by masturbating men, instead opting for a group of naked men and mostly women of different races. According to Chris, the puddle of semen on the ground represented a man who finished early and so left. On August 31st, Christian went to the fashion square and waited for the pickle-breasted woman for over an hour, but she never showed up. YouTube user Zero Archibunker Zero filmed a brief clip and took a couple of photos of Christian patiently waiting for his reward. After returning home, he then demanded that someone come to his house to give him the money. Tito claimed that they eventually found the real Christian in a different Starbucks, wearing a Sonichu medallion and a brown striped shirt, meaning that they allegedly gave the reward money to Liquid Chris. Christian did not believe this claim and came to terms with the fact that he would not get any of the money from the trolls. He sent one final email to Clyde Cash. I am tired of your game of goose chase. I know you and Tito are not going to give me even half a penny of any money, even after I've broken my one PS3 I paid $400 for in 2007. You both want me to even beg. You can go point at your own damn snouts and oink like Eric Cartman, and then rape yourselves with your own damn Darth Maul dual lightsaber. Fuck off and die. Both of you! After handing in a large selection of unwanted consoles and titles to GameStop, Chris received $100 in store credit. He also received a loan of $200 from his parents after a lengthy discussion about the matter. On September 2nd, Chris used the $300 to buy a new PS3 and spent the whole day redownloading his past games. Jackie was heartbroken by the news and pointed out that it would have been much cheaper for him to visit her in Tennessee. She then complained about all the times he had lied to her, including his claim of not needing to play with a PS3 for months. Christian wow. sent her a lengthy reply, stating that when he drove to Ohio to meet Julie, his parents called the police on him. Similarly, when he was planning on driving to the anime convention Otakon, his parents threatened to call the police and have him arrested and even change all the locks to the house so he couldn't enter his own home when he came back. He wow. gave these situations as reasons for his hesitation to come visit Jackie. Wow. She asked him to return his new PS3. Okay, you know what? I'm, I don't know whether I've forgotten about that revelation again, but... Jesus Christ, what kind of parents would just... I mean, again, I know Chris isn't exactly great, but... Dude, really? That's just... That seems very, very aggressive and very mean-spirited to just... If if this is what if this is what they're like with Chris trying to you know make make it quote unquote important decisions or try and do something independent with his life, do they do Chris, Chris's parents Bob and Bob really just they don't trust him for just about anything do they they don't, they don't trust him to make any uh, wow okay declined, saying that he would not spend money as frivolously as before, and tried to set up a date with her on September 4th. He pointed out that his <sighs> PlayStation 3 was more than just for video games, but also for surfing the net, playing Blu-rays and DVDs, CDs, and storing photos and videos. Jackie highlighted that all those actions could be performed by a PC, 
She also accused him of caring about his console more than he did real people. He does. Chris strongly disagreed, and suggested that until they were willing to meet up in person, it would be best if they unglued themselves from their respective screens and began seeing other people in person. On September 6th, Christian made a YouTube video attempting to dispel troublesome rumors. September 6, 2010. I am not dead. I am very much alive, healthy, and well. And I aims to keep it that way. Well, the, you and got I the first part down. I rumors from the dang trolls. Because you know they all got to be falsified. And I'll tell you all something else. Patty ain't dug up. She's still underground. All the trolls are doing between their forum and what they like, what they spread about in their dang rumors, is just blowing a bunch of smoke. So what do you, so do you, should you believe a whole bunch of smoke? No. Because all there is with the smoke is just a bunch of, it's just a fire web lies. So there. And also, I am going to ignore the trolls and they are not going to bother me anymore. I am regaining control of my life. They have played with me for, for long enough. They like you playing with play your with PS3 anymore. for I'm way too to long. And also, I will say another thing. Wow. Haters are gonna hate. The next day, after. It took him that long just to say that. Chris. Forget it. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try and. This 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 entire half of this video is literally just dedicated to a PS3 of all things. Just wow. Two days of email silence. Jackie asked him if he would ever respond to her. He did, stating that she was probably going to be the only pretty girl who could so patiently put up with his difficulties and quirks and offered a compromise. He informed her yeah, that he made $130 that, in a few days and was willing to make the same amount again and use this money to travel to meet her. She was glad to hear from him again, but sad to learn that he would not give up on his PS3. Jackie also confronted him about how he felt that only Xbox players could get addicted to their console, but not PlayStation connoisseurs. Christian then confessed that he did not hate the Xbox series of consoles like he did before, admitting that he tried them out at a demo booth. He revealed that he felt jealousy over those that could afford the expensive consoles and hated it for its numerous technical flaws and that it supported the HD DVD format rather than Blu-ray. He formally retracted his hatred for Xbox. And you are right on me having no right to complain of other video game addicts, but I said those things to prove a point that people like them, including myself, and the trolls can better themselves by socializing off the internet and going out more often. I have been going out more on a daily basis, at least during the afternoon hours on average leaving between 2 and 4 p.m. and an average of over 3 hours per day. If I knew where to go, I would definitely go out at night and have more fun. But aside from the new Walmart to walk for a while, I do not have knowledge of such locations or how to act within their likely dim lit areas. And, yeah, I do not really expect people to drop what they're doing and converse with me when I am unable to do it as easily as they are able to. But it is nice to be acknowledged and not to feel invisible in public. Seriously, even when I'm shouting while drunk or near sober. Nobody gives me attention. I am ignored. And when I try to start something with a pleasant greeting, I am still ignored. And I'm right here, people. Aren't I handsome enough to attract your attention, ladies? WTF do I have to do to get even a hello from anybody these days? Sigh. It makes me feel like a... Maybe it's screaming like that, also using the using sigh uh, in, in your friggin... D Chris's habits are so in real life. Uh, some say you speak the way you write, and if this is really how Chris uh, writes, it's evident how he speaks in real life. Like, I, I, I straight up don't believe that. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, never mind. A social outcast. And I do not want to be a social outcast. Anyway, I'm sorry for stopping communications with you for a short while. I needed some time for myself to collect my thoughts and come up with a reasonable solution to the disagreement. Play more PS3, Chris. That's all you've done. I felt like kicking myself over and over for saying the breaking up things I said in error. I did not mean it. And I'm happy to still be talking to you. And I really want to be with you. 
I'm re-raising the money as quickly as possible, and if I can come up with it by the end of the month, I will dedicate three quarters of my remaining money from next month to us. Colin closed parentheses. Jackie asked him to make a video to prove that he truly indeed loved her, focusing on their first date. She requested that Chris play a song from her favorite band in the background, Mmm 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 by Crash Test Dummies, and featured some new drawings of the two of them. She also claimed to not care about the trolls knowing her name, so she allowed him to say it freely in the video. Jackie gave him three days to upload the video. Oh On boy. September 13th, Chris uploaded the video dedicated to Jackie, with a slideshow presentation featuring a mix of drawings and video game stills playing on his TV in the background, undiscernible for the majority of the video. This is for you, Jacqueline, my sweetheart. I want you so bad, you know. I need you. You completely. You completely so you completely complete me so much. Oh my god. It's so hard to describe. I mean, you get me so excited, you get me energized, I just want to jump! You just want to jump? You get me so excited, especially when I do things for you that you that you enjoy, that I help you do, oh, gosh. that I put together for you. It's just really awesome. Besides, as it, I said on that website, we're so we're so much imagine and many things. And you know, I could do, I could do a lot of fancy things for our first date, but you know. Yeah, that's the first, that's the drawing right that's a drawing right there. We can't see shit, Chris. Come on. I mean, yeah, sure. We've got a little gamey thingy here, but you know what? It's a good way for Jeff. Especially since I did drawings first hand by hand. Anyway, for our first date, like I said, I would do a fancy, but I'm a simple kind of guy, you know. You know, a nice little dinner for two, maybe a, mo maybe a movie, a uh, walk in the park, that sort of thing. So my fancy day is just mostly simple, really. I meet you over at your place or where we decide to meet up. And then we, and then we head on out for our lovely, for our lovely day. We go, we can go catch a, we can go catch a, we can go catch a movie. Maybe go see Disney play. And then they get what? Oh my God. Or we could go to an amusement park. The only th actually, you know, I'm pretty sure the only thing that was showing by Disney about this time was possibly Toy Story 3 or something like that. Yeah, it was. It was. It had to be just that. There's one. So I hope you like Toy Story 3. Ride right the Ferris wheel. Long we're together, enjoying it. <sighs> and then we go to. Restaurant, uh, depending on whether uh, what can what we can or where we would feel like going, whether it be fancy or uh, inexpensive. But this one was fucking nuts, really. What's the point in even showing me ad for Adobe Photoshop when I've owned Photoshop for nearly four years? I don't get that. The one I put together for the first day here. Anyway, we just enjoy each other's company. And the food. It can be candlelit. Think of that as part of fancy. But with the Disney church, I just love you, like, there's hearts between us. And then you just, you just brace me on the way, on the way to the park. Where we can enjoy, where we can slide down the slide. I can push down the swing. Or just sit on the grass, whatever. Enjoy the moonlight. Romantic moonlight. If I tree and make out. But then when it comes to like, it comes to uh, the apex of our evening, uh, I can take you up to our car and then take you back home. And then if you want to, we can go back in there and ruin and ruin my club. Oh, we're protection. Right. Because I love you and I care about you very much. You love you. You've only known each other for what, two, three weeks or something at this point. Also, this this is going to start what is going to be a recurring trend for a good for the next couple of videos. Chris making creepy as hell videos, very very weird videos for for Jackie. It was the same for Ivy again. This is just it feels like re repetition at this point. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we get Liquid Chris uh, 2.0 by, by part 43 or something like that. What did I say? I need you. I need you, Jacqueline. Why do you need him, Chris? I don't ever want you to leave me. I need you. I want you so much. Also, again, him so repeatedly say, I want you, I want you, I need you, I need you, doesn't make it genuine. I don't ever want you to leave me, because if you leave me, that would just leave me very sad. It would be so much heartbreak. I'd be, tar I'd be down for well over a month. Don't even want to think about it. Don't even want to think about it. But I love you, Jackie. I love you! I love you, Jacqueline Romney. Come to me, or I will come to you. And we will enjoy, and we will dance the night away. Oh, God. Or hang the day away. And see where it goes from there. You make me jump. You make me jump! Shh. I love you so much. Can't stand it. Neither can I. I really can't stand it. Please, do, 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 just turn off the thing, Chris. Come between us, sweetheart. It's you and me forever. I love you. He soon after made another video, confessing that he no longer hated the Xbox. There are some loud moans heard in the background at several points in the video. Some have theorized that it was his father, Bob, in poor health at the time, but it is uncertain. Captain's log started date September 13th, 2010. I am making this video to make a public statement. I no longer have any angst or hatred or anything, any beef against the Xbox. It is a good console, a very good console, Pop, uh, about equally as good as the PlayStation 3. Yeah, I cannot play Blu-ray, but it is still a good console and is just another gaming console. Just like, you know, I guess PS, just like PS3 is another gaming console. Another Wii, or Wii, is another gaming console. Have you noticed there's a depreciation in the number of gaming consoles in the center? Because the gaming edition is gone. I, I have gotten rid of the hoarded system systems and games that are open I have oh I heard that the number of years and also I would like to make another statement I have no I have no I have little I have no hatred or anger towards the gay men none at all what do you suppose that the title of this video would be, ladies and gentlemen? That he has no hatred towards Xbox, or that he has no hatred towards gay men? Because that would I insinuate what he prioritizes, wanting to make clear, to prove his tolerance. Excuse me one second, guys. Okay, that's fine. Also, yeah, if you heard Bob uh, sort of like moan in pain, I... You, you might want to go see to him, Chris. Maybe that should be a better priority than Jackie. No, no questions. Straightforward. I'm cool with. I'm cool with you gays. You know, you go do what you want to do. Just, you know, keep it to yourselves. That's all. We're all equal people. We have every right to live <sighs> our lives free. However, we're see again. However, he's however each of us individually chooses. So there. Oh, see, that was another thing. You notice how Chris literally he trails off, and now he has absolutely nothing to say. Yeah, that's also recurring. What the hell is going on outside? Anyway, that's uh, essentially that. Oh yes, I just remembered the other thing. I What's remove that? all hexes and curses to every single person I have ever in the, around the world that I have ever left a curse on. So consider yourselves cleansed. 
They're all forgiven. <laughs> we were never guilty. Every last one of you. We were never really that guilty in the first place, so that means nothing. And with that, I bid you a good day. A safe one too. All of you. Later that same day, Chris sent Jackie a drawing of her naked self being ejaculated upon by Chris and three other naked men, oh one boy. of whom was black, and another was devoid of color entirely. The scene was depicted from the black man's pubic region's point of view. Oh. In response to his video concerning their first date, Jackie was pleased with his energy, but disappointed with the amount of screenshots used from his Little Big Planet date level, which he had originally made for Julie. She requested that he make another video, this time singing over the Crash Test Dummy song with his own lyrics, while dressed up as her favorite character from the anime series Dragon Ball Z, Mr. Popo, since her favorite holiday, Halloween, was oh, coming up no. soon. On September 16th, Chris fulfilled Jackie's promise. Hello, I have glasses for a genie, Mr. Popo. I tell you a story. It is a good story. You will enjoy story. What was it, uh... I will not be deceived by trolls. I will not give in to your ways. And he does this. You... Granted, again, he had no idea Jack... Oh, for... Why did he not think for, like, one minute this was a bad idea? This is just... Whatever. Just, you would have thought, for whatever reason, that this was just maybe taking things a little bit too far. But no, apparently Chris had no problem in doing this. No problem whatsoever. Like, does, do you reckon, and it's hard to tell with the lighting, but does he, like, realise that this is a bad idea? Come on, Chris, you must know this is this is not a normal thing to do. Chris has to... Oh my god. Why? Just what? Why? Why? Why, Chris? Why? 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 Yeah, I, I, could, I could literally say why from here until the end of time, but now I'm never going to get an answer because I don't think... If I asked Chris why he did this, he'd probably just say, because a girl asked me to. And then I'll literally go back and literally never try and ask him a question ever again because everything is for his quest for, for China. Also, I'm pretty sure Pope, Mr. Popo even, uh, I don't know, I barely, I, bar I barely know much about Dragon Ball Z anyway, so I can't really say anything about that. But I know probably Mr. Popo would not like this. I know that Goku, Vegeta... That 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 strange cat thing from uh, Dragon Ball Super would not like this. Uh, Bulma would not approve of this. Gohan would not approve of this. No, no, Master Re Master Renshi would not. Nobody would appreciate this. Not even Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which has nothing to do with Dragon Ball Z, would not appreciate this. Nobody, nobody asked, wanted this Chris come on think 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 about what you're doing once there was this boy who was born with some autism and he makes it about himself Jesus fucking Christ after his high school years he lost his friends and was troll tortured by bullies who were jealous of his material things. No, 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 no. Oh, for God. What are they gonna do? What are the, what's Jackie gonna ask Chris to do next? Do uh, a Jinx impression from Pokemon? Uh, 
what what else is it that, that like that America had to censor from Japan? Uh, let's see, Jinx, Mr. Popo, uh, maybe maybe he'll do like uh, an Electric Soldier Porygon where he just makes a bunch of seizures with the camera. Maybe that uh, maybe that's what he'll do next. Think ahead of the curb here. What the fuck is he doing? Ain't no saves on the fiddle like this. I sang your day, wah wah, ho ho hey ya ho. I sang your day, wah wah, ho ho hey ya ho. Ain't no saves on the fiddle. No saves on the fiddle like this. Ain't no saves on the fiddle. No saves on the fiddle like this. The fuck is this language? What is he doing? Happy loving between me and Jackie. I love you, sweetheart. Boing. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck was that? What the... What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> fuck me! <laughs> Good old Chris Chad. It's it certainly shows how much he uh, favors uh, you know uh, getting getting laid. Certainly more than he favors his own dignity. Oh, oh God. On the day he finished his Mr. Popo video, Chris told Jackie about an email he received from someone whose name was Robert Paulson, who claimed that he was her boyfriend and attached a nude photo of her. Jackie stated that she didn't know who Robert was, but revealed that her ex-boyfriend, Lars, was the only person who possessed that picture. She vowed to make him pay for not deleting her nudes. In addition, she asked Christian to make one video for every day in October <laughs> for so-called content. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I, I only have five CAs on the video. Oh my god, fuck me, that was shit. have it like laughed for like a good couple of days and then it all just kind of like comes out over something as fucking stupid as <laughs> that's that's something I'd actually recommend for a lot of people is to actually try not to uh, laugh for like a good couple of days so that when something comes along and it literally all comes out. You will feel it feels like it comes from a very warm and healthy place. So, uh, okay, okay. Best called Jacqueline's Naughty No Trick All Treat Thirty One Days of Halloween Contest. In each video, Chris would have to dress up as a character of his own choosing and reveal some information about himself. She stated that simple thirty second long videos were fine. If he completed the challenge, they would have sex on November first. If he failed, then he would have to wait longer for another chance for them to meet up. 
who replied, stating that he thought the contest idea sounded fun, but he declined to participate since there was already so much personal information about him online. Jackie was hurt by his refusal, clarifying that she was interested in learning simple, little things about him, such as his favorite food. Since he declined her challenge for sex, she allegedly cried, having her night ruined. Chris apologized, becoming more open to the idea. He also fulfilled another request for Jackie. He attached a collection of photos of his room, offering a near 360 degree view of his personal space. Wow. She was thankful for the pictures, and clarified that he did not have to come up with elaborate costumes for the videos. She also wanted to get back at Lars, but had no way to directly contact him, so she asked Chris for advice. On September 22nd, Christian and Jackie had their first chat on AOL Instant Messaging, during which they discussed in depth his trolling experiences and his sexual activities. <laughs> the following day, Chris talked about his idea for a specialist task force to stop trolls called Trollbusters. There are people around the world who for their own individual reasons seek cruel laughs, fun, or comfort in making fun at other people's expenses, all celebrities included. I, Christian Weston Chandler of Rutgersville, Virginia, United States of America, have fallen victim of these cads, these scoundrels, these scumbags of the earth's soil. As the years passed in the story creation, I later discovered that I was being bad-mouthed behind my back in November of 2007 by individuals who hide behind the mother's skirt of the internet, who are referred to as trolls or cyberbullies. Their groups and icons include that of 4chan, the pedal bear, the epic smile, charge in malaysia, the list goes on. They all think that they are of a high and mighty rank above everybody around the world, including and especially every individual who they make dark mockeries of. These trolls not only put in their own twisted, evil thoughts on the innocent people they pick on, but from everything the innocents put on the internet from typed, quoted text, drawings and photographs, YouTube videos, etc, etc, etc. And even worse, the trolls deceive and blackmail us innocents by establishing online relationships, making us open up emotionally to them to confide our private truths, photographs, videos for footage. Their hacking prowess is unknowingly powerful, depending on who is in their organization for their crass lulls. All regardless if you just will willingly give out information without, you know, fact checking or proving anything. Which I personally define as laughs under lucrativeness. I tell every person who has been, as well as not yet but will be, tormented and found by a troll slash cyberbully. You all can protect yourselves by simply practicing the safety advice from me here. Yeah, also, what did he say about, you know, he forgave everyone? The- <coughs> Here, as well as other cyberbully prevention organizations found on the internet and in real life. Google these places. Chris offered a list of precautions to take to not be trolled, which included not giving out personal information over the internet, not posting private photos which you may not want others to see, keeping a close watch on people around you in real life in case some trolls follow you around, and having a good, happy reputation by being generous, kind. He says that when days ago he was, uh, he made a video where he cosplayed as Mr. Popo, including blacking his face, getting giant red lips, and, uh, what else was it, uh, sending, uh, nude photographs, uh, of him, well, making nude drawings of himself and Jackie. Chris, I don't particularly know whether anybody's gonna listen to you on, when it comes to safety on the internet. Just, just, uh, just cause I thought, just a bit, just, uh, ask. ...and caring. If you are a victim of trolling slash cyberbullying, and you know who the person is and where they are in real life, there is a good chance you'll be able to legally yeah, sue them, talk to a legal attorney for more information like and details on how. And if you like are me. a troll uh, or cyberbully, and you know who you are, you'd be doing yourself a favor giving like up me. your ways because you will like be me. found and uh, punished. Wait. Like the Trollbusters, Cal and Dee Dee of Quickville, Virginia, who always catch the troll in the act, you can do your part in stopping the trolling and cyberbullying. Soon after, they had another AIM chat, in which she discussed her tumultuous relationship with Lars and the constant fights they had. Jackie revealed that Lars had a large collection of toy boats, many of which were constructed poorly and many others remained unopened in their boxes. This characteristic was conceived as a parody of Christian's own obsessive patterns. <laughs> Lars had been bothering her recently, laughing about spreading her nude photos to other people, so Jackie wanted Chris to make a video targeting Lars to scare him away from contacting Jackie ever again. She sent him a link to one of the model boats he possessed, a miniature scale replica of the Titanic, as inspiration for his video. Chris suggested that he could build a Titanic out of Legos and sink it as a way to intimidate Lars. 
Jackie specified that she wanted Chris to say the phrase, consequences will never be the same, an infamous quote uttered by the father of mass trolling victim, Jesse Slaughter. Consequences will never be the same, you lying bunch of pricks! She wanted him to upload the video on September 25th, which would have been their anniversary. Adhering closely to her wishes, Christian delivered the video on September 25th as requested. Good afternoon. This message goes out to an ex of my dear, but uh, my dear beloved sweethearts, who goes by the name of Lars. Oh boy. Who had an obsession with model boats, and here is a Titanic-like boat. It's nothing like the Titanic. It. Let's see what happens to his boat. Oh, look at me! I'm sailing in my Titanic-like boat that was originally for my girlfriend, who is now Christian's girlfriend. And today was our anniversary, this 25th of September. The oh no! What's this? A cipher! Yeah! Oh, you got him, Chris. Good job. It gets better, you know what? Because... Here comes the demolition team that finds the remains of the sunken ship. That's not what a demolition crew does, oh. Chris, and uh, yeah, oh. they definitely don't wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, and you're the captain of the ship. What remains of him, anyway? Weak as dirt. The consequences will never be the same. Lars, you are no match for me and my muscles. Fuck off, Chris. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Soon after, Chris uploaded a video in which he sings over the song You've Been Trolled by 8-Bit, which he first saw on Flipnote Hatina. You've been trolled, you've been trolled, you should probably just fall when the only winning move is not to play. And if you keep on trying and this replying, you've been trolled, you've been trolled, have a nice day. This video portraying and projecting the anti-troll cyberbullying movement has been brought to you by Mod Nation Racers. Who are not associated with this. And a brand for soap and other things. So that are associated. Skin in a week or so. And not only that, it gets you clean. And it makes you smell good. I just use it to wash my hands. And I use it in the shower to wash myself vigorously. I certainly do not use... Not use any animals. Okay, whatever. But the point is, is that uh, I'm glad at least he's at least opening to that. Because let's face it, there's a lot of surface area on, on Chris's body to, for, for soap to be used. Any animals, my own jizz... Or anything else other than oil of Not entirely sure where that uh, uh, accusation came from, but I'm glad he pointed it out just to make sure that he was not wiping himself over with jizz. Or his own cats. That's uh, it's a good thing, Chris. You want to make that absolutely clear, even though nobody brought it up anyway, and nobody would suspect somebody would be that stupid. I say that, and I'm talking about Chris. I, I, I feel like I'm going too soft. Double A brand bars of soap, and that's body wash, and shampoo, and conditioner. Available in anti-dandruff form. But anyway, oil of Olay. Soft and smooth skin in a week, and makes you very clean. Have a nice day! <sighs> in response to the ship sinking video, Chris received an email from Lars McNulty himself. Uh oh. Hey fatso, you're the fat loser my Jackie wound up with? Whoa, I must have done the number on her. If she'd be so traumatized, she would sink as low as you. <laughs> you know what ain't sinking? My resolve, n Don't you ever be showing my boat sinking. You're just lucky that wasn't one of my boats. If that had been one of my boats, I'd have warmed your pasty fat ass, you wonky dweeb n Jackie's gonna be mine again. You just wait and see. This shit ain't over between us. Just look at my pick I gave you. You see I mean business. See how fierce I be. The consequences ain't never gonna be the same <laughs> Smooth sailing, Lars McNulty. He attached a photo of a black man, which according to him, was a picture of himself. Thinking that Lars used a photo of a black man to hide his true identity, Chris made another video attacking him. Hello Lars. 
I've got your email, and I've got to tell you, you're a dying loser for hide behind a picture of a black man, a dang photograph. Anyway, it's over. It's over. You've lost. Your history. You're kaput. You could have, you had your chance with Jackie, but you did, you lost, but you lost. You kept concentrating on your dang boats all day and all night, ignoring her needs and her desires. Now she's the real man. I will satisfy her needs and her desires. And if you ever want to be happy with yourself, you grow up. You grow up. And you stop thinking about yourself. Yeah. You grow up. Stop thinking about yourself. Yeah. Not you mess with me and her, you're, you're going to have to deal with me, definitely. Down to the last sweat or breath. After watching the video, Jackie informed Chris that it was actually Lars in the photo. Upon this revelation, he stated that he was fine with her having a black partner in her past, largely thanks to seeing many interracial couples on television. Okay, you very, how very, very mature of you, Chris. That's wonderful. Spectacular. With his relationship with Jackie still holding steady and promising, the introduction of an ex-boyfriend provided a new foe in Chris's life, which encouraged him to release his inner emotions in video form once again, adding more excitement to his internet presence. For while he may not have been aware, the trolls were the screenwriters of his life, inserting love interests and villains as they wished, in order to entertain a very peculiar audience of a man unwittingly starring in his own show. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for part 30. Oh my, oh my god, just... There was a lot we, that we have to uh, discuss. One, and I might discuss. I might make a whole separate video about. Well, technically, there was more stuff I wanted to talk about Jackie anyway. But guys, listen. In spite of what Chris did with Ivy, because I don't particularly think Ivy, if I can remember correctly, Ivy uh, made any requests for Chris to do anything stupid. But if a if a girl friggin' asked you to do that kind of shit, you can tell absolutely she is not interested in dating you. You you need to you need to have a little bit more dignity about yourself than doing shit that's gonna make you look bad. And despite how many times Chris has kept saying that uh, he's learned or he's not gonna give in to trolls and that, it was because of Chris. You know, you know. Not practicing what he preached is what resulted in the destruction of his PS3. And not detecting the fact that, well, basically the things that Jackie has suggested are very, very reminiscent to what previous girls have done. It's... It's it's fascinating. It, it's fascinating that... Uh, some of the things that are happening at this point in Chris's life in late 2010 are making me laugh as much as I do because they're not going to last, ladies and gentlemen. And I say that because round about like 2011, like about the latter half of 2011, is when I think we get into uh, the period in Chris's life where the reality, if it was, if the reality of Chris's life wasn't prevalent before. It's when it sinks in, and in, in about like six months from from the point of like part thirty, is where life, if somehow it could get any worse, it gets a lot, lot worse. I mentioned in this per preference because what's going to come up is again the only thing we had out of all that was the thing about Mister Popo, and it was funny, even though it was. Very, very insensitive. Also, I heard the news that apparently the uh, the Washington Redskins are going to have their name changed after about, like, 85 years was being stuck with the name. Well, times have changed, isn't it? But then again, why did Chris think back in 2010 this was a good idea? Why would anybody think that 
donning blackface in 2010 was a good idea. Like, Chris... And also, what was the thing? Why was Chris saying, it's fine for you to have had, dated a black man in your past? Like, dude... Why? If you said that to somebody else who wasn't a troll, they'd be, pe they'd be giving you plenty of questions for days about why. Why is that such an issue if uh, I can't date somebody who is black or Asian or anything like that? Very specific, very strange thing Chris Chris likes to focus on because of his own, well, let's call them prejudices. Let's just, let's be honest. So anyway... I hope you guys have enjoyed part 30 of Chris Chan, a comprehensive documentary. And I will hope to see all of you guys again for part 31. Take care. Bye-bye for now.